Hello, hello guys. My name is Rajesh Rajesh Sharma. Today we learn how to pick an image from camera and photo library. So just open main dot storyboard. Here I use image view. When I click on this, tap on this. So just a alert sheet open. And here I make it connection. This is my my image view. And here I create a tap gesture on it. When when I tap on it, image tab. This method will be called image tab. And here I open open action sheet. Just and I present it here. So when I give here three option camera gallery and action. When we click on a camera, this method will be called. And when I click on gallery, this method will be called. And cancel no method will be called because I here set handler is nil. So first I run it and I will show you. here when I click on this this method will be called open action sheet here and when, when I click on camera gallery in action this method will be called camera action gallery action and cancel panel so cancel so first of all we need to use a UI image picker controller delegate controller delegate and the second one is UI navigation controller delegate and so we need to override the callback method of UI image picker controller delegate so first we need to override it finish picking media with info this method will be called when we pick the image from photo library or from a camera so this method will be called here I can set the image image to image view how I set my image view dot image and you can see here this is the info so I use info UI image picker controller original image as UI image as UI image because the data type of this is UI image here I will show you image view dot image here UI image and that's why I use UI image here and now <laughs> So we need to take an image. So first, if we make image picker, image picker, UI image picker controller. So I create an instance of UI image picker, we control image picker controller, and set a delegate self. we write a open gallery so image picker dot source type so we use photo library because we will pick the image from photo library and here percent here I use image picker 
animated true completion nil and one more thing in in go to the info dot p list and open as source code We add ns photo library r a r y library uses description and here I give the reason why I want to use this for big image any reason you can write here why are you using this function in this photo library and one more if you do not set this key and value here you get an error and for picking from a camera you and this camera uses description for pick image now that is fine because it will, it will allow the user to show a dialog that you are using this feature in the app so just run it you can see the dialog and this is the reason that I use for pick image you can see here and I need to allow it and pick from the image here gallery pick the image and you can see here you can get the image yeah. you can check it here and one another method you need to override did cancel So dismiss the controller print cancel. This method will be called when you cancel the image from picking. So I just Thank you.
this gallery and here I tap this button cancel so you can see this method will be called here you can see the message cancel and now in case of camera if we just copy it and paste it and the source type is here we use camera and here I want to tell you there is simulator and in a simulator you can not use a camera because there is a no camera so here I just check it here UI image picker controller dot is source type available source type camera else otherwise print the message camera is not available camera is not available I check it before because when I click on a camera so first we check there is a camera available or not if we not checking it so it will be crash on simulator so that's why otherwise it will run without any problem in iPhone because there is a camera available so in case of simulator it will crash that's why I use this check so I run it again tap camera camera is not available you can see here this message so don't worry please check it on iPhone this code will run and one more thing I want to tell you if you want to crop option when picking an image from photo library or from a camera you just use this allow editing allow editing true by default is false allow editing true means you can crop the image so crop the image so I use here allow editing true just run it so click on gallery and you can see here there is option of cropping so what part you would like to crop this part will be show here choose and but cropping is not working because here I use UI image picker controller original image so if you allow editing true so you need to use UI image picker controller edited image so when you use this one you can get the cropping image if 
you don't want to show the option of cropping so you just use UI image bigger control or original image and by default allow editing false just gallery show you just this is clear choose and now you can see the part there is a cropping image you can see here so thanks for watching this video if you think this is helpful for you so please share it like it and comment it and don't forget to subscribe it subscribe it thanks